Ooh, that scared me. What's this? I think we have a clue. Oh my god. There's still beer in here. Peanut butter salad. Interesting. Local favorite? Hmm. It's close. I know it is. Dirty bastard. Somebody trying to tell me something? Hmm. How much is the percentage on this? It's like, wow, 8.5. Ooh. Check out that cool bottle from this local stuff. 6.7%. How about this one? 8.1. They went in for some interesting drinking experiences. Wonder where the actual beer is though. Let's go find out. Jones hot on the trail. I think I'm on to something. I think I'm on to something. Two perfectly placed beers. You know what I think it is? I think it's beer with buddies. Let's get to drinking. What's going on guys? Jones here. Welcoming you to another little edition of Beer with Buddies. I got three strange things on tap for you guys today, which I just did the little intro there. Um, doing what I'm gonna call a triple threat. Because I'm gonna be pretty buzzed after this. Because you know, the thing about Beer Buddies is I gotta drink all of them afterwards. So we are doing a trinity of beer magnificence today. I am drinking a Scotch Ale, a Pineapple Habanero, Pale Ale, IBA, I believe it's IBA, and a Peanut Butter Imperial Stout. So we're doing all this today. It's going to be interesting. So let's uh, let's get to drinking here. We're going to start with local favorite. I've actually had this before. Uh, this is the Jekyll Pineapple Habanero Hop Dang Diggity. If you like Hop Dang Diggity, this is an interesting version of that beer. It's got a hint of a Habanero and a little hint of pineapple. It's not like I thought when I first tried it, it was going to be the worst thing I've ever tasted in my entire life. It's actually just got a little bit of heat, a little bit of kick, and it's actually really fucking good. Um, I'm not sure if this is like an all-year-round thing or seasonal, but I'm leaning towards it being seasonal because I haven't seen it in a while. So I figured I'd try it out. So drinking out of a sweet water glass because, yeah, it's local. That's what we do. I'm going to try to bring local favorites every week on an episode now. So thumbs up. Yeah, it's really good. Uh, like I said, a little bit of heat. Um, there's another beer that I've tried that has a little bit of heat. It's the um, Monday Night Brewing Serrano Eye Patch Ale. And it's okay. It's got a little bit more of a, the actual pepper taste than that does. But it definitely is a different and interesting uh, experience. Now, I'm looking forward to this uh, Scotch Ale called Dirty Bastard Founders. Because I got a little crazy last week with Founders and I decided to try out, uh, you know, the Redanculus, which, was, which you know, I tried on last week's episode and was really good. And I drank the 64-ounce bottle this week, this past weekend. And it was definitely a really tasty beverage. Really tasty. A little strong, though, so definitely like a glass and a half, and I was like, bit, 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 bit. So it was, it was good times. So here we go. We're drinking out of a Southern Brewing Company out of Athens. We just tried one of their beers at work last week called Hobnail. Chill IPA. Scotch Ale. I like Scotch Ales. It's a little less like thick tasting. The only other Scotch Ale I've ever had is from Monday Night as well. It's uh, Draft to Kill. That's a lot different. That's got a little bit more of a bite to it than uh, Draft to Kill. Draft to Kill's got like a creamier taste, I guess. I wonder what's in that one. I'm gonna have to take a look at the bottle um, a little bit later on. We'll see how that is. But uh, yeah, so there's that. That's really interesting. Oh, yep, that's good stuff. 
All right, so the one that I was really looking forward to was this peanut butter stout, peanut butter imperial stout. You got to see me try a little bit out in the intro. So it's looking pretty dark there. Check that out. It's a very, very stouty stout. But I mean, I'm not a big fan of like the regular stouts. Like I'm not a Guinness guy. I mean, I can I can drink Guinness every once in a while, but not really. It's too thick, too heady for me. Too too. It's not heady. It's too. What's the word I'm looking for? Filling to me. It's just it's just so like. But I like other flavor stouts. Chocolate stouts. Milk stouts are my personal favorite. I might have to do a whole stout episode in the near future. So, peanut butter imperial stout. Let's uh, a little burp there, sorry. Take a sip, see what it tastes like. Oh, fuck. That is some serious, it does have a very peanut butter taste. I'm very impressed by that. Um, these are good. Uh, the bad thing about drinking a triple threat like this is I got to drink all of them now so I can't imagine how I'm gonna feel when I'm done and they're all pretty high percentages so it'll probably be probably feeling pretty good in about an hour or so we'll drink them a little bit at a time we'll probably get ready to start a little live stream tonight uh, it is Thursday so it is also live stream day I've already recorded one video and we're doing this one now so I like all three they're all pretty good like I said the uh, Scott Scott Jill's got a little different taste than some of the other Scotch ales I've tried. The pineapple habanero is really fantastic. Not at all what you would think. You know, some people think that it would be like uber spicy. It's got a little kick, but it's nothing like major. And then, of course, the peanut butter imperial stout is, I mean, it's got a little, little hit of peanut butter, man. It's pretty tasty. It's not like, not like super filling on the on that spectrum there. So, uh, thanks for watching Beer with Buddies this week, guys. The Triple Threat episode kind of decided to take it back to the house because I had to do a couple bit of recording a couple different videos so I'm gonna get ready to get my uh, live stream on in just a bit be sure to check out my untapped profile I believe it's Casey Jones 681 on untapped it's where you can keep track of all the beers that I've drank it's not a complete list because the app wasn't around when I first started trying beers so there's that but go check my profile add me if you want to we'll converse about beers and stuff like that be sure to hit that like button if you like this video Excuse me. Subscribe if you haven't already to enjoy more Beer with Buddies antics. I got to get to editing and live streaming. So I will see you next time on Beer with Buddies. And we'll see where we go from here. Take it easy, folks. I'll see you later. All right, guys. I had one last thing I needed to cover before uh, I called this video. Um, I know the name of the show is called Beer with Buddies, but there's a few videos out there. I think I found something when I was doing some internet searches or just in suggested uh, videos. A couple other beer shows on, on YouTube. I know I'm not the only guy doing stuff like this, but uh, there's one called Beer In Buddies, like and buddies, um, on there. So I'm wondering if I should change the name. I mean, I like the name, but I have two I had two ideas for names for this show when I first started it, and uh, maybe you can help me determine what you think would be better. I don't know. Um, we've got. Of course, Beer with Buddies, which is the current name of the show. And then the other idea I had was uh, Beer Me, starring Jones, or featuring Jones. I don't know which one I want to go with moving forward, but uh, if you'd like to throw your opinion down on that situation, uh, be sure to leave it in the comments. Or you can hit me up on social medias. You can hit me up at Twitter at CaseyJones681. Um, you can message me directly on you know, YouTube as well for your ideas if you like the show enough to you know help me come up with a name make sure that the name is good i don't know sometimes i have these weird moments where it's like this sounds too much like this like i had a show called jones calls and i switched it because i every time you look for jones calls you got alex jones and his crazy fucking shit on the internet and guys are nuts man i don't want to be associated with that so that's why i changed the name to jonesified anyway just uh throw that out just see if uh anybody thinks that the name is good i think it's good but I could change it regardless just to make sure I sound, you know, original enough. Just uh, throwing that idea out there. If you'd like to, you know, hit me up about your opinion, please do. I could, uh, I'd appreciate the uh, feedback. Thank you very much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.